Hello friends, Alexander here again with another video. Today we're going to try to read another uh, ACU with the PCM tuner. In this uh, video we're going to try to read the MET 17.5. This is out of uh, an Audi A3 1.8 TFSI engine. The connection here is pretty much straightforward. All you got to do is follow the direction. You can find the pinout uh, straight out of the PCM tuner uh, a software or you can use an external source such as the dim sport okay so here we have all our connection completed to the ECU and uh, we have our PCM tuner connect to our computer and right now we can jump into our PC and uh, run the whole procedure so from here guys all we're gonna do is we can launch PCM tuner click yes and wait for the software to launch. PCM Tuner software is capable of uh, updating uh, and PCM Tuner, PCM Flash, uh, you cannot update but PCM Tuner you can update every time when uh, there is an update available. So ECU operation at this point, we can go through make and model uh, through the vehicle type or list but we will go straight through search. Now one thing I want to mention, this um, setup right here the software is a little bit of lag it has a little bit of a lag and it takes a while for the typing to proceed i don't know if this is something there that they will um, develop and fix in the future okay so med 17.5 this is you belongs to an audi a3 so we're gonna go search for that uh audi a3 3 1.8 TFSI this is my engine so MET 17.5 with a TC1766 processor this is an Infineon and from here I'm gonna select my method I'm gonna run the bench mode and I can click instructions now here it's nearly impossible to miss uh, your connection this is very well put together so if we go right here on the bottom and select the VAG and our GTP connection on this side and on the other side we have the power ground can high and can low so after we complete successfully our connection all we gotta do is we can close this part and click on read and write so at this point PCM flash it will launch and it will ask us if we want to update so no update as we said on the PCM flash from here pretty much straightforward bootloader med 17 and here is my processor I see it right here I'm gonna start with the EEPROM before I hit the read I'm gonna go and run an identification on my ECU click yes and at this point it's passing the security and everything and we have successfully identified it and from now I can go proceed with the reading it shouldn't take uh, too much time such as this is the EEPROM file EEPROM uh, has been successfully read and I'm gonna go ahead and save it to the little file I have made, uh, made with the MED 17.5 click save successfully has been saved and at this point we will go same way but at this time we will proceed with the flash no need for id now we're gonna go straight and click on read click yes and wait until the reading procedure is done it won't take too long and at this point i believe then pcm tuner can handle this ecu uh, very easy very quick on reading and writing we're not going to write anything back at this point we have no file modified to flash it but we have done this procedure with uh, another ecu and everything was uh, quick and easy so we will wait until the uh, actual procedure is done we will save the file and at this point we have successfully uh, completed our reading as you guys see, this reading procedure is going very fast.
Now, in some cases, if you guys running through the PCM Flash uh, software and you're trying to read or you have selected the wrong protocol and you get in message error as such, uh, uh, no uh, USB device has been recognized like J2534, all we got to do is disconnect the power supply from the PCM tuner and reconnect it again and relaunch uh, PCM uh, software. Okay, guys, so here we go. Everything has been completed. We're going to click save, we get our message, then we have saved and stored our file and checksums are correct. Click OK, OK again, completed successfully, all we got to do is close it and at this point we have successfully managed to read EEPROM and MOPS out of the MED 17.5 with the Infineon uh, processor so thank you very much guys if you like this video please thumbs up 